All right, here they are. They're getting ready to take their maiden voyage. Yes. Don't worry, we got their insurance policy. Okay. We'll you guys are doing good. Six and a half hour. Four an hour. Four an hour. Kim, it. you have to follow the leader. Stop Watch down. how she goes. <laughs> See, it feels pretty stable, doesn't it? It does. It's very stable. Now, hopefully it's recording, right? Yeah, it's recording. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I think it's, it's fast for, for yeah for inflatable. It's see I say how see how straight it goes. If you get in some inflatables, the cheaper ones, yeah, every stroke you take is going this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way. That thing steers. You got that at Bass Pro? No, I bought it online from uh, Sea Eagle. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> See ya. There's Kim. This is what I came out looking for. This, there he goes. Oh, look at him. Yes. Stands up with my dad. He could have told us, I can't, we gotta go. You know what I mean? Absolutely. He, he stuck it out. He said, but you're not gonna see me. So Kim and I just came back and now David and Dennis are gonna take the kayak out and try it out. I think Kim and Dennis are going to have a kayak in their future when they get back. We had such a good time. <laughs> They're going backwards. <laughs> they were making fun of us that we was smacking each other. Look, they're off too. But <laughs> There they go. I think we did better. I agree. <laughs> Both the ladies and the guys had a great time on the kayak. And then the next day, we had to change sites because we uh, had had our site rented for the weekend over the holidays. So we started to move back our stuff in the morning and we dropped off the motorcycle. And next, this is what happened. Parked our motorcycle, came back to move the motorhome over, and the motorcycle was up in flames. So the fire department's on their way, but kayak from the heat, burned the kayak. Yeah, I need to try to get these bikes out of the way. So that they don't burn, but we'll have to see. All right, that's all I can do right now. They got on scene and they're getting to put out, but there's gonna be nothing left. It was going. Wow. Oh man, that is a mangled mess. Well, at 
least it didn't catch the tree on fire and the whole at least my motor home wasn't parked right there that's the big thing ah look at that that's horrible and the tree didn't catch on fire and everything else wow but my poor kayak is gone oh well such is life thank you guys Please. Can we take off before we can get some information from you? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's just hard to look at it. Who's the owner? We are. Oh. Dave and I. I don't think you do those. Oh, shoot. The extension cord melt too? The, the plug is. Oh, uh, yeah. The light's still on on the inside of the plug. But I wouldn't use it. I, I, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What's it? It's plugged in? How could the light be on? No, it's no. not plugged in. Oh. No, it's just the way no, the sits. It's so it's it's Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it? Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it looked like it was. Uh... Get comes the truck. If it's survived in there, it was well in I was going to say. I want to get pictures. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's stuff true. That you had in there. Oh, jackets. Where, where my phone is. Don't ask me. Wherever they said. 
That's up to those guys. They, they the one to set that up. Helmets were up here. Oh, helmets are they're, melted they're, in that. They're melted in that. They're in the, this stuff that you can't even identify. Right. That survived. That survived. That's that, that's that frog tog stuff. Heated gear, frog togs. Heated gear. That's the heated jacket. The pink is the frog togs. Well, I should be good enough. I videoed it all too. So this is the storage compartment that housed all our riding gear. Um, we had two Goldwing riding jackets, two sets of heated gear with heated gloves, two sets of frog togs, rain gear, all that was in the storage compartment of this. That, and then up in the, used to be, trunk was also two helmets and uh, stuff that was up there that all got melted. This was uh, the half cover for the motorcycle right there. So since the fire, they've got our site all blocked off and uh, we're occupying another site, but there's still debris back here. You see from where the motorcycle is sitting. And then you can get a look at the tree uh, after a few days. So there has been a little bit of uh, um, trees burnt flowers now you can look all the way up you can see all the way up at least that far uh, the leaves are burned but I think the tree is going to survive the other part of it's still nice and green up there so eventually they'll get this all cleaned up and I think we'll come back over to our site so but for now a 16 it's got caution tape Although it was a tragic loss, we were very excited that no one was hurt and that the RV wasn't parked next to it and we would have had a total loss of everything. So, we'd just like to say thanks for watching, thanks for following along. If you haven't subscribed yet, put that subscribe button and become a subscriber of Knowles Blessed Adventures.